Hi, welcome to the last episode of the XI series by Strength System. I am Nivedan and Jidhi and my colleague Varun. We are going to be in Strength System in the gym. So, in this episode, we are going to be able to do minimal equipment. Dumbbell band and we are going to be able to do an upper body workout. Now, we are going to be able to do a lower body workout for dumbbell and bands. So now, talk about the first exercise is the dumbbell glute bridge. Nama body weight uh, lower body workout path apo, adilah hip thrust abdi nora movement path apo. In the glute bridge jo is a very very similar movement. Anah the only difference is, unga back bench le elevate panama floor liye vechay panaporinya. So in the exercise ke setup pan rapo, again hip thrust madriye da, back flat on the floor and then feet about hip width and toes pointing straight. In that position, you can put a dumbbell or a sandbag or some weight equipment on your hips. From there, you are going to think about squeezing your butt and lifting your hips up. Now, if you come to the top, I also want you to think about pushing through your heels into the floor. Now, if you come to the top, exhale and go to the top, inhale. You can do this exercise in 10 to 12 repetition range. And in this exercise, just like the hip thrust, is going to help strengthen your hamstrings and your glute muscles. So, we will discuss the end of the exercise is the split squat. We will discuss the lower body workout and discuss why single leg exercise is important to pass the single leg exercise. So, single leg exercise is again squat or step up in two categories. Either you can do the pinnati or the kaal kira or the lower body exercise. If you do not, you can do a bench or a step up in a stool or a bench. So, this will be the squat type exercise. Um, so in the exercise pandras you are going to set up with one foot in front of you and the other foot behind you. So pinnadi irkara kaal la heel evlo oyrama vechik mudi mo avlo oyrama vechite. As you stand back up, you are going to think about pushing through the front foot heel. Now mele varapo exhale pannu and again kira ponu the kaprama you can inhale at the bottom. Now in the exercise mo about eight to twelve reps on each side pannala. So, we will see that the lower body exercise is the dumbbell RDL. Now, the lower body exercise is all about squat type movements or hinge type movements. Now, we will see all about squat type movements in our quadricep muscles primarily, which is in our thigh and in our thigh and in our thigh muscles. Hinge type exercises are all about our thigh and in our thigh and in our thigh and in our thigh and in our thigh muscles, which is basically hamstring and our glute, our butt muscles are strengthened in our thigh exercise. So, in the RDL, there is a hinge type exercise. If you want to set up this way, you want to set up your hip width apart and set up your hip width and set up your toes completely straight up point. Here, when you start the move, you want to push the hips and push the knees and unlock the knees and you are going to bend forward. If you are going to bend forward, you can hold the position for a second and see if you feel your hamstring. Then, you can come back up on the way up, exhale and think about squeezing your butt. In this exercise, you can do a 10 to 12 repetition range. Then, you can come back up on the way up, exhale and think about squeezing your butt. In the exercise, you can do a 10-12 repetition and you can do this as part of the circuit. Now, let's see what the exercise is, the pal-off press. Now, again, this is a core exercise. In the exercise, you can use either bands or resistance bands, or you can use bands, or you can use a cable machine. So, in the exercise, you are going to set your feet about slightly wider than shoulder width. Toes pointing straight. Again, the knees and hips you lace are unlock. Pani, you're going to think about pushing your hips slightly back. Now, from that position, band day, you're going to pull it to the middle of your chest. You're going to take a big breath into your stomach. Again, the exhale, pani te, you're going to push the band out in front of you. Now, in the exercise, how do you work? Agum, din pata, the band you push front la push pan rapo, the band is going to want to try and pull your arm to the side. Adha resist pani neera push pan rathle da core ke workout erike. So, in the exercise, you can do 8 to 10 times each side. And again, for the entire workout, you can set up a timer for like 30 minutes or so. And again, you can do how many rounds you can do. Again, as with any of the other workouts that we discussed, either at that time, you can do how many rounds you can do. You can do the same number of rounds you can do how many rounds you can do. So, thanks for following along with the exercise series. This is Nivedan and this is my colleague Varun. Thank you.